What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to factor quadratics that have a leading coefficient other than one, okay? So let's start with this first problem right here. So 2n squared plus 20n plus 42. Okay, so before doing anything, before factoring or anything, you always want to see if there's something that you can factor out from each of these three terms, all right? In other words, your greatest common factor. And in this case, there is something we can factor out, which would be a two, right? Each of these three terms are divisible by two. So that means we can pull a two out. So if we pull a two out, what are we left with inside of these parentheses? Well, here we basically divided by two. So the two on top and the bottom cancel out. So we're just left with n squared, right? And then here, again, we divided by two. 20 divided by two, that's equal to 10. So then we have, right, plus 10. And then the n is still there. And then here, 42 divided by two, that's equal to 21, right? So plus 21, plus 21. Okay, so as you can see inside of these parentheses, now we're left with a quadratic equation that has a leading coefficient of one, right? There's no number right there, so you can obviously assume that it's just a one. Okay, so now we can factor this a little bit more easily, right? We have n squared plus 10n plus 21. Okay, so whenever you have a quadratic where the leading coefficient is one, what you want to do here is find two numbers that multiply to this last number right here. So we have positive 21. Okay, so it has to multiply to that. But at the same time, those two numbers have to add up to this middle number right here. Okay, they have to add up to this middle number right here, which is a positive 10. Okay, but you want to always start with your multiplication here. So what are two numbers that multiply to 21? Well, there's 1 times 21 and there's 3 times 7, right? Those are the only two pairs that multiply to positive 21. Okay, great. So which one of these two pairs add up to positive 10? Well, 1 plus 21, that's equal to 22. And 3 plus 7, that's equal to 10. Okay, so that means these two numbers right here, positive 3 and positive 7, are the ones that we're going to use when we factor this quadratic right here, okay? So if we factor this quadratic, we're gonna have our two parentheses right there, right? Uh, here we have an n squared, so that means we're gonna have an n here and an n here. And then what goes here? Well, the two numbers we just found, right? Positive three and positive seven. So plus three and plus seven, all right? But also don't forget, we have this two that we factored out at the very beginning. So all you have to do is bring that straight down right there. Okay, so then this would be your final factored answer. So n plus three in parentheses times n plus seven in parentheses times this two out here in front, right? Now, in case you wanted to check your answer, in order to do that, all you would have to do is FOIL, okay? So you would just FOIL these two sets of parentheses right here, okay? You'd get your answer and then you would just multiply or you'd distribute this two inside at the very end. Okay, and then you would find that we would just get straight back to this answer right here, 2n squared plus 20n plus 42, which if you get back to where you started, you know you did it right, okay? So now let's go to this uh, next example right here. So 4x cubed plus 16x squared minus 20x. Okay, so again, first thing you want to do is figure out if there's anything you can factor out out of all these three terms right here, all right? And in this case, there is, okay? All these three terms are divisible by 4x, okay? This one is divisible by 4x, this one, and this one, all right? All three of them. So that means we can pull out a 4x from each of them, okay? So what would we be left with right here in the parentheses? Okay, well here we have a 4 on the bottom, 4 on the top, so those cancel out. We have 1x on the bottom and 3x is on top, right? So we basically have x times x times x. So this x on the bottom, since there's only one, would cancel out with one of the x's on top. So we would just be left with two x's, right? Or in other words, x squared, right? So we would just be left with x squared right here. Okay, and then here we have positive 16x squared divided by 4x. Uh, 16 divided by 4, that's equal to just 4, right? And this is a positive, so positive 4 plus 4. Okay, so we dealt with the numbers. And then here, uh, we have two x's on top, right? x times x. And on the bottom, we just have one x. So one of, the, one of these x's on the bottom cancels out with one of the x's on top. So we're just left with this single x right there, okay? So we're just left with a single x. 
basically x to the first power, right? And then here we have negative 20 divided by 4, that's equal to negative 5, so we'll put minus 5 right there. And then the x on the bottom cancels out with the single x on top, so those just go away. So we're just left with minus 5 right here, okay? Okay, so as you can see, we're left with a quadratic that has a leading coefficient of 1, right? So since it has a leading coefficient of 1, we can basically solve this one the exact same way we solved this one, okay? So the first thing you want to do is find two numbers that multiply to this last number right here, negative 5. And 5, that's a prime number. So the only way we can get negative 5 would be by multiplying 1 times negative 5 or negative 1 times positive 5, right? So great, we found our two pairs. Now we need to figure out which one adds up to this middle number right here, positive 4. Well, 1 plus negative 5, that's equal to negative 4, right? And negative 1 plus 5 is equal to positive 4, okay? So since this pair is the one that adds up to positive 4, right? That's what we're looking for, positive 4. That means these are the two numbers we're going to use when we factor it, okay? Negative 1 and positive 5, right? So let's write our parentheses right here. Okay, so first of all, we have an x squared right here, right? So that means we're going to have an x here and an x here. And then again, we're going to use negative 1 and positive 5, right? Negative 1 and positive 5. Okay, and then lastly, don't forget this number you factored out at the very beginning, the 4x, right? This term right here. So then you just bring that straight down outside of these two right here, okay? So then this would be your final answer. So here we have 4y squared minus 36y plus 56. Okay, so again, the first thing you want to do is factor out your greatest common factor. So in this case, the greatest common factor would be a 4, right? That's the biggest number that we can factor out of all of these, right? So again, that's the same thing as dividing by 4, right? So if we pull a 4 out, let's do that. Uh, first of all here, 4y squared. Uh, divided by 4, the 4's cancel out, so we're just left with y squared. Okay, and then here we have negative 36 divided by 4, that's equal to negative 9. So here we have negative 9, all right? And then we have the y, so let's bring that down. And then here, uh, 56 divided by 4, that's equal to positive 14, so plus 14. Okay, so as you can see, we ended up with a quadratic here again that has a leading coefficient of just one. So again, we can solve this the exact same way we did the first two examples, right? So first thing you want to do is find two numbers that multiply to 14, okay? And then they're going to have to add up to negative 9 right there. Okay, so two numbers that multiply to positive 14 would be 1 and 14, uh, 2 and 7, but also the negatives, right? So negative 1 times negative 14 and negative 2 times negative 7. Okay, so these are all the pairs that multiply to four, positive 14. And remember, they have to add up to negative 9. Okay, so it means we're going to have a, a negative sign. So it looks like this one, right? So negative 2 plus negative 7 is equal to negative 9, right? So then these two are the numbers that we're going to use when we factor this out. Okay, so let's do that. Right, your parentheses. All right, so here we have a y squared, so that means we're going to have a y there and a y there. And then, again, the two numbers we're using are negative 2 and negative 7, right? So negative 2 and negative 7, all right? And then the last thing, don't forget, is this number we originally factored out. Also bring that straight down right there, okay? So then this would be your factored answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.